This video was made possible by Wix. If you're ready to create a website, head on over to wix.com slash go slash infographics 2019 to try out one of their premium plans right now. Here's a nugget of knowledge you'll never want to forget. The electric hand dryer was invented in 1948 by an inventor from Chicago called George Clemens. Well, some sources tell us that, but others say the Air Dry Corporation of New York patented the process in 1922. In terms of how they look, hand dryers haven't really changed all that much over the years. The problem back in the day, but not so much now, was that these machines were really noisy. Then in the 1990s, we saw the introduction of the superb Mitsubishi jet towel, which was said to be a game changer. It was possibly overtaken in 2006 by Dyson's Airblade, or perhaps by the super fast dryer, the Accelerator. Now you know the history of hand dryers, and you can thank us in the comments. Welcome to this episode of the Infographics Show, why hand dryers are making you sick. First of all, you might think it's strange that we're going to tell you why hand dryers might be making you sick, because in some ways they were created to be very hygienic. After all, who wants to share a hand towel that's been used by 274 people? The reason we wash our hands, of course, is to wash off germs, and if you've seen our show on germs, you'll know that bathrooms, especially around wash basins and toilet seats, are where germs like to hang out. Drying your hands on a used wash towel after washing them is about as productive as using deodorant that smells of sweet, salty, stinking sweat. Hand dryers also cut down on waste compared to disposable paper towels. Surely the electric hand dryer was a win for the consumer, for the owner, and for the environment. Ok, if you're germophobic, we suggest you get ready to be scared. If you're not, you're at least about to see public restrooms in a light you may not have seen them in before. Thanks to researchers at the University of Connecticut, whose work became famous, or should we say infamous, in 2018, we know something about hand dryers that we didn't know before. As we've said, if you saw our video on germs, you'll know that bathrooms are germ havens. If you could somehow see germs, a bathroom would look like a phantasmagoria of pathogens, all vying to survive while hanging out on surfaces and being blown into the air. You'll know that germs love to wait on sponges and towels, but you'll also know that when we flush our poop down the toilet, germs can be carried in what are called aerosol plumes as high as 15 feet. Flushing is like detonating a poop germ atomic bomb. And that bomb, when it explodes, lets out things like salmonella, shigella, E. coli, and hepatitis A, which dutifully fills your nostrils and enter your mouth. That's why some people, and we're not kidding, say you should put the seat down when you flush. This poop germ salvo of pernicious pathogens in your own bathroom is one thing, but a public bathroom is another. In an airport or train station, these bombs are going off around the clock, and each one has its very own ingredients. These places are home to germ warfare, and you are the enemy. Now that you know that, let's get back to hand dryers. You see, these scientists who studied hand dryers told us something very important. When you turn on the dryer, you virtually blow germs all over the place, onto people near you, onto yourself. Back to the nuclear bomb analogy, hand dryers are like strong nuclear winds after the initial explosion. How do they know this? Well, they went into schools in the USA and started analyzing germ movement around hand dryers. They put plates around the dryers and plates in other parts of the bathroom. The plates not near the dryer had only about one germ colony on them when they were examined. However, the plates near the dryer had 18 to 60 bacteria colonies per plate after the dryer had been used for around 30 seconds. What these scientists found out was that many kinds of bacteria, including potential pathogens and spores, can be deposited on hands exposed to bathroom hand dryers. Sources tell us that at the University of Connecticut they now use paper towels instead of electric dryers. You might be thinking, well, I wash my hands before I dry them, so how does bacteria end up getting near the dryer? Well, even after you've washed you still take germs to the dryer. The studies show us that around the dryers you'll find many germs, while dryers also sucked in germs as well as blew out those bacterial cyclones. One reason hand dryers disperse so many bacteria is the large amount of air that passes through the hand dryers, 19,000 linear feet per minute at the nozzle, said the researchers. The convection generated by high airflow below the hand dryer nozzles could also draw in room air. In addition, a report published in the Journal of Applied Microbiology told us that jet dryers are the worst offenders when it comes to spreading germs, as they obviously blow the hardest. However, all types of dryers are suckers and blowers of germs. But here's the good news. Most of us have immune systems that are strong enough to prevent us from getting sick when we come into contact with these germs. We are surrounded by germs and we fight them all the time. The scientists tell us it's perhaps better not to have hand dryers blowing germs everywhere in places such as hospitals, where you might find people with weak immune systems. But some sources also say that if you're 
feeling under the weather or may have been up all night partying or studying, maybe you should lay off the hand drying that day. Schools and universities might be thinking they can do nothing right because over the last couple decades, they have mostly gotten rid of paper towels because dryers were supposed to be environmentally friendly. While high efficiency particulate air or HEPA filters can reduce this perfect storm of bacteria, they won't make things that much better. And other studies have been done. The Journal of Hospital Infection published its own research. It found that folks using these jet dryers had four and a half times more bacteria on their hands than people who had used the warm air dryer. They also had 27 times more bacteria than folks who had used paper towels. A study published in the Saudi Journal of Biological Sciences had similar findings, saying that hand dryers deposit loads of germs on hands and blow germs through buildings. Dr. Thomas Murray was interviewed by Healthline about this, and the doctor said there is no need to worry, as most people's immune systems will fight germs whenever they visit areas where many people congregate. He added, though, that there seems to be little point in washing your hands and then just going right to the dryer and covering them with the germs, the ones you thought you just washed off. Dr. Gerba, who we talked about in our germ show, recommends we wash our hands well with soap and then head right to the disposable towels. Other experts said, let's face it, when you're in a public bathroom, you're not going to get away from any of those germs. You're in the trenches every time you enter one of those germopolises, and you'll likely survive. Saying that, we doubt you'll ever look at a hand dryer the same again. You may not be able to avoid getting sick from public hand dryers, but you can avoid making visitors to your personal site sick with a lame website design. Never fear though, Wix is here to help. With the most robust design tools anywhere, Wix lets you build a website from scratch that suits you and your own personality. But if you need a little help, then just use one of Wix's many fully customizable templates. With easy drag and drop interface, you'll be designing a stunning website in minutes. Check out the link in the description or go to wix.com slash go slash infographics 2019 right now to get started building an amazing looking website. Will you carry on using these dryers? Why or why not? Tell us in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other show, Diseases That Will Kill You The Quickest. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.